What's up guys, Sal here. So we've talked about the Galaxy A90 in the past. It's the first ever device in the Galaxy A series to have a flagship processor. Yes, it will have a Snapdragon 855 SoC. Apart from that, we knew absolutely nothing about the device, but that's changing today because we have a leaked retail box of the Galaxy A90, which shows how it looks as well as reveals its key specifications. First of all, as you can see, it will have an Infinity U-notch, which could be a disappointment to some who were expecting a rotating camera setup like on the Galaxy A80. The display is going to be 6.7 inches, full HD+, and the good thing is it's AMOLED. On the back, it has a triple camera setup just like a lot of other handsets in the Galaxy A range of devices. 48 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and 5 megapixel depth sensor, which is similar to what we find on the Galaxy A70. Speaking of which, it looks almost exactly like the A70, but there are some subtle changes to the device, bringing some premiumness to the handset. For example, the frame is made up of metal, and the camera ring looks like it's made from metal too. Anyway, the battery capacity isn't mentioned, but I'm positive it's gonna be 4500 mAh. It will support fast charging. Earlier rumors said it's gonna support 45 watt charging speeds, just like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, but I think Samsung isn't gonna provide the 45 watt charger inside the box, again, just like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, they'll probably have to buy it separately. By the way, the box doesn't mention its processor, but I'm 100% sure it's gonna be the Snapdragon 855 because Qualcomm's mid-range processor still doesn't support 5G. So Samsung has no choice but to include the 855 processor. Some of you might be thinking why all of a sudden they are launching a mid-range device with a flagship processor. Well, there are a couple of reasons for that. One, Samsung understands that there is a huge market for 5G right now and they want to be a leader in this category as well. Second, like I've said, no other mid-range Qualcomm chipsets support 5G just yet so they have no choice but to go for the flagship processor. Which makes me believe that this is a one-off thing and they wouldn't continue having a flagship processor in their Galaxy A range of devices in the future as well because in 2020, the mid-range processors are gonna support 5G as well. So Samsung is teasing a smartphone with a mammoth 6000 mAh battery. Yes, you heard that right, 6000. A leaked promo material shows the number 6000 with a hashtag GoMonster with the letter M standing out, signifying that it's for the Galaxy M series of devices. As of which M series device, we still don't know that yet. It could be M20s or M30s, the successors to the M20 and M30, which had 5000 mAh battery. We also have the real photo of this 6000 mAh battery that's going on either M20s or M30s or even both. Right now, there's absolutely no information about when we might see this handset, but considering the promotional materials are leaking already, meaning that it's not far away. In any case, I'll make sure to keep you updated, so please consider subscribing for that. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.